Now we have a rational function given by a graph, and we need to determine the equations of the first of the vertical asymptotes. Now we can see we have one here at negative 4, and we have one here at 3. So now equations of a vertical asymptote will be x equals, so it's x equals negative 4, and x equals 3 are our two vertical asymptotes. If f of x has a horizontal asymptote, write its equation. Now there's no guarantee a rational function will have a horizontal asymptote. But what a horizontal asymptote is, is what happens is y goes to negative infinity and positive infinity. We can see this graph levels out at 0. Now because it's horizontal, it's the equation y equals 0, not x equals 0. Next, we want to determine the zeros of, the, of this rational function. Well, it didn't hit the x-axis at its asymptotes. The only place it looks like it hits right here is at negative 2. So that's the only zero. These are not zeros, they're asymptotes. So there's our characteristics of this rational function. And the very next problem asks us to determine the equation. Well, we know we have vertical asymptotes at negative 4. So that would mean we'd have x plus 4 as a factor of the denominator, because negative 4 now makes that 0. And also at 3, so x minus 3. So there's our denominator. We also have a 0 at negative 2. That comes from the numerator. And in order, if negative 2 is a 0, remember x plus 2 is a factor. Now this is a degree 1 over a degree 2. So the degree is bigger on bottom. So this has a horizontal asymptote at 0, so it's good as is. So this is a possible function for our rational function. So let's see if any of our answers match. Okay, this has backward signs on all three factors. Backward signs in the denominator. Correct signs in the denominator, wrong sign in the numerator. Here we have the correct signs in the denominator, correct signs in the numerator, so it has to be D. So that's how we can use a graph to find all the pieces of a rational function.